We got this Bosch set of router bits. Pretty cool. This is actually a pretty good deal. On Amazon, I forgot what I got them for. $109, whatever, a lot of bits. Uh, one cool thing is, um, we're gonna test these things. So, I cut some windows out, 5.8. It was actually CDX plywood, so it was really good plywood. This one is almost there. It does have a couple, couple voids right there. Very small, but um, we're actually going to trim this against the two by four. This is a triple straight fluted um, uh, straight blade from Bosch. The bearing actually is going. It's in the process of going right now. So I'm gonna replace it, but I don't have a new router uh, flush cut bit to compare it to. I do have a couple of these, but this is only a double, right? Yeah, this is a double right here. This is a triple. I would think the higher the blade count, the better, but um, I'm gonna hook this. What, what we're gonna do, I got this here, pig right here. It's got plenty of power. Uh, we're gonna put this one in here and try to do a rip down through there. And then I got this Yonko. I think it's what it is. Yonko or whatever. I think this is about $35, um, quarter inch, up cut, double bearing. Uh, absolutely wonderful reviews. Got this white side, people are bragging brag about them. Same thing, quarter inch, d up cut, double bearing. So both these are new to me and I went ahead and bought the good ones right off. So we're gonna run them and see the pressure going against it. Hopefully you can hear the motor, uh, you know, the, the, the pull on it or whatever, the drag on it. And of course I know it's gonna smoke this one right here, but um, let me change the bearing. So one cool thing that this set came with is additional bearings. Let me check this up in the motor first. Yes, I'm going to leave the battery in it. You got to go through four steps on this thing to actually uh, <laughs> get the thing to start. You know, start running. I guess, I guess you possibly could. Both hit both hit uh both buttons all right so i got that and let's go ahead and change that bearing out a little over kill here i should have grabbed a nut driver oh well that nylock's a little loose right there one of the reasons why i think this bearing possibly wore out i'm not 100 percent sure but the oh, you can see how loose it is the nylock can you yeah look at the movement hmm. uh, the nylock it came loose hopefully i'm hoping this bearing will fit oh yeah oh yeah so we can need to identify what bearing that is and replace it so we got we got one in the set All right, I'm gonna check this one more time for tightness. Oh yeah, I'm good to go there. All right, so I'm gonna put this in my plunge base. We're going to set the depth. Here, we'll do it, we'll do it over here. We'll set the depth, uh, basically so the bearing is riding I don't I don't want to I don't want it cutting that low so I'm going to bring it up a little bit one thing I'll say about this plunge base uh, for the quarter inch Makita's is that it is a little tight with the 40 volt and you can use this both for the 18 and 40 volt so I don't know what RPM to set this at I'm just gonna I'm gonna give the bigger Bosch bit the freshest battery. So it just came off the charger. Here we go.
that's uh I guess you take a second off or whatever for me starting and stopping that. Let's switch up the bits. Yanko. So interesting thing, I was commenting, um, this thing, since we changed the bearing, is actually cutting a lot faster. So it was either putting a lot of load on the, um, uh, I knew that'd be hot. Uh, it was either putting a lot of load on the router and it was chattering a lot. It's not, it's not chattering as much. I think Lowe's might sell them bearings. I'm not sure. I think so. All right. This is the white. This is the Yon Yonico. I don't know if you can see. It's got multi edges to that there. So, yeah. cool. It's got a double bearing here and uh, which I think is good because especially with the size of it, you're substantially going down in size. That's still warm, that router bit's still warm. Ooh. Um, if you have any divots, plus even, even that right there, even with the size it is, it compresses soft woods. And even hardwood, it will uh, do it a little bit. All right, let me reset this thing, get this thing going. First time I've ever cut with a router bit like this. These look very similar, very similar. Um, but it does not look like this is serviceable. Nope. Whereas this uh, this one from Yanico has a nut to where it looks like you can replace this. This one from Whiteside, I don't see any way to replace those bearings. Um, I did want to say this right here, the Yanico limited lifetime warranty, satisfaction guaranteed. Uh, near perfect. Um, show them the package. Flip it around. Light. Flip it around. Satisfaction guaranteed lifetime, limited lifetime warranty. Okay. Limited meaning if you use it, it's not warranted. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, Yanico. The warranties don't mean a lot to me. A lot of times I don't even look at. Um, oh, Claremont. Cool. North Carolina. This is a um, local company. Excellent. Product guarantee would say or warranty to be free from defects unless you use it. See, there you go. Warranty is void if tools are altered in any way. There again, if you use it. Uh, it does have speeds right here from um, RPMs. I have no idea what this thing runs for RPM. I, let's take a look. Should say right on it. It runs 10 to 31,000. 10 to 31,000. So it says we can go up to 24,000. You might want to turn it down. We are at three. Yeah, I four, think it goes to five. five. So we're we're at three. We're probably good. Yeah, you're fine. Yeah. Okay, we're good. Okay, you ready? I am ready. Um white side. Alright, let me start her up. That thing is fast. So, oh, hold on. It was a seven seconds it, it when was it like ended. Six, six or seven seconds. Yeah. Hold, okay. So, I'm not sure if it's because we got a couple of things right here. Uh, it cut through so much faster. I didn't know if there was some mistake, so I, I, I left it running. Okay, Um. hold on here. I noticed it immediately that it was haul and bought <laughs> so we need to move it again again and make two more cuts one with the white side and one with the other all right got the white men again right here or white side white, white side. side all right we're doing round two uh reset okay when you hit the end, it was right, like mid fives. Okay. Five seconds. All right, so let's change the bit out, move the board over, and try the other one. Okay, 
this is interesting so I made two cuts I just pulled this out two cuts you see it in my hand so pass we reset the board made another pass all within all within probably two minutes this um Bosch bit which I don't know where it went we made one pass we made one pass and I could not hold that for it was hot to touch even about five ten minutes later oh, yeah. one pass all right, so where's the Yanico? So these things run a lot cooler. Yeah, I'm gonna get this chucked up and do a pass with that. Uh, we got the Yanico in here. Let me reset this guy. You ready? Yeah. So here's the thing. The white side is cutting quicker. Yeah. I that's... had I was pushing that quite a bit more and I, and I don't <laughs> That's pretty visible that the white side cuts way faster. I, I, I can see that it, from the camera. I was pushing that to get to get it to do the time it did. Yeah. And um uh wow, I was not expecting that. It's only 10 bucks more for the white side and I, and I hate to Great. Uh, is it, am I using that word correct? Um, there's a lot of people that really like these bits, these Yonikos, but the, the white side's better. The white side is also I like way the way that the cutting teeth are on the uh, white side. Okay. So, okay. Yeah. I um, yeah, this is almost uh forty. It was forty one, forty two dollars for this right here. Both these came off Amazon, and I'll do the links. I, there's nothing wrong with this Yanico. I think it was like mid-30s, 34 $35. Uh, it cut fine. Absolutely smoked this. Not not even close. Uh, my thoughts were the reason why I got both is when you're going through OSB, particle board, chipboard, plywood, do you want to be running a premium blade through? Can you save a couple bucks? Uh, but I think the difference is significant enough right there. You probably should just be buying the white side. Yeah, I do. I, do. All right. I wish I had enough money to coat this with dirt and sand and mud and run this through to see if it lasted, but not made of money. So, and the star of the show is the Makita. Take a bow. <laughs>